Hi, this is Father Paul from the Sunday Mass, and I want to thank you for tuning in today to the Sunday Mass on our YouTube channel. I'd just like to take this opportunity to remind you to subscribe to our YouTube channel for free and become part of our Sunday Mass community of faith. Now let us begin our celebration. Welcome everyone to our celebration of the Sunday Mass today, a ministry of the Passionist community. It's February 14th, so happy Valentine's Day to everyone, particularly those in love today. And it is the sixth Sunday in Ordinary Time, our last Sunday in this little journey of Ordinary Time before we enter Lent. So... Let us be a community of faith, gathered and united, as always, by the sign of our faith, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. As we come together today uh, to celebrate this wonderful mystery of our faith, to be nourished by the Word of God, by Eucharist, let us first pause and prepare our hearts for our encounter with God by asking forgiveness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to the gift of everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and in on earth, earth peace, peace to, to people, people of goodwill. Good we, we praise, praise you, you, we bless you, you we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer, you are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. O oh God, you teach us that you abide in the hearts that are just and true. Grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace to become a dwelling pleasing to you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Leviticus. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron, If someone has on his skin a scab or pustule or blotch, which appears to be the sore of leprosy, he shall be brought to Aaron the priest or to one of the priests among his descendants. If the man is leprous and unclean, the priest shall declare him unclean by reason of the sore on his head. The one who bears the sore of leprosy shall keep his garments rent and his head bare and shall muffle his beard and shall cry out, unclean unclean, 
As long as the sore is on him, he shall declare himself unclean, since he is in fact unclean. He shall dwell apart, making his abode outside the camp. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. I turn to you, O Lord, in time of trouble, and you fill me with the joy of salvation. I turn to you, O Lord, in time of trouble, and you fill me with the joy of salvation. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is remitted. Blessed the man to whom the Lord imputes no guilt, in whose spirit is no guile. I turn to you time of trouble, and you fill me with the joy of salvation. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do everything for the glory of God. Avoid giving offense whether to the Jews or Greeks or the Church of God. Just as I try to please everyone in every way, not seeking my own benefit, but that of the many, that they may be saved, be imitators of me as I am of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. A great prophet has arisen in our midst. God has visited his people. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory, Glory to, to you, you Lord. Lord. A leper came to Jesus and kneeling down begged him and said, If you wish, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, Jesus stretched out his hand. He touched him and said to him, I do will it be made clean. The leprosy left the man immediately, and he was clean. Then warning him sternly, he dismissed him at once. He said to him, See that you tell no one anything, but go show yourself to the priest and offer for your cleansing what Moses prescribed. That will be proof for them. The man went away and began to publicize the whole matter. He spread the report abroad so that it was impossible for Jesus to enter a town openly. He remained outside in deserted places and people kept coming to him from everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to, to you, you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. When I'm talking about the scriptures, there's an image I love to use. And it's the image of a lens. Could be a camera lens, 
could be a telescope lens, it could be a microscope lens, but just the lens. And that the scripture, like the three readings we heard today, are like lenses that are held up in front of us. And God sort of says, look through them. And as we look through these lenses, God sort of turns them. Sometimes bringing two of the lenses together so that we see things differently. I, th I thought of that today because certainly the first reading in the gospel were two relatively similar lenses. One from the book of Leviticus, which is the third book of the Pentateuch, the first five books of the Bible. And it's really a book of laws, of rituals, of how to conduct yourself in a religious way, in a moral way, uh, in a God-like way. Uh, and, and the little section that we hear today, the little sort of uh, ritual command is if you have leprosy, if you have some sort of skin ailment where the skin gets broken, you're unclean. And you have to do certain things. You have to take yourself away from the community. You have to let people know that this is what you have. You can't mingle with the, 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 the community, whether it's your family or the community where you live or your faith community. That's the picture that, or the lens that uh, Leviticus holds up for us. The gospel is how that gets lived out sometimes particularly when God is present, when Jesus is present. You, you know, the leper in the gospel story didn't do what the law prescribed. He was supposed to keep a distance. He went running up and knelt down right before Jesus. And he said, you know, if you could heal me, I, I know it'll work. And Jesus didn't do what Leviticus prescribed because he reached out and touched the man. Said, yeah, you're healed. And then he says, just go, don't tell anybody, just go to the priest, do what we need to do according to the law, and everything will be okay. But what does the man do? He goes running off and he tells everyone, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you go, if that happened to you, wouldn't you be so excited that you'd go running off and tell everybody? You know, do everything with the glory, with the excitement of God within you. You know, Jesus was an extremely compassionate person. And he didn't heal just to, to heal somebody. He healed so that they could become part of the community again. So that they could see their worthness, their goodness, the, the gift who they were. Because the community wasn't allowing them to see that. Jesus wanted them to be a part of life. He wants us to be a part of life. No matter what struggles we go through, no matter what wall we come running up against, what difficulties we have. And as I said last week, as St. Paul says, if we do it for the glory of God, that can make all the difference. The Word of God always calls us to a faith that we proclaim. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. 
I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us trust in mercy and compassion of our God by placing our prayers and needs in his loving hands. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all engaged and married couples that the richness of their love will be grounded in God's love, especially during moments of struggle and challenge. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for all of us in need of a prayer this day, especially those who are struggling in some way with the COVID-19 virus, that Jesus, the healer of our every ill, will touch us with his merciful love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for the intentions of our benefactors, the intentions of our television and internet faith community that will be placed next to the altar, and for Mary Gill Carraza RN, for whom we pray in a special way at this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. God of eternal love, hear and answer the prayers we offer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Sisters and brothers, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us. May it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them, up them up to, to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed us in your own image and set us over the whole world and all its wonder to rule in your name over all that you have made and forever to praise you for your mighty works through Christ. And so with, angel, with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave you thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, 
which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper had ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Nicholas, our Bishop, and all whom you call to the service of your church. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we humbly pray. Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The rest, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the glory are yours now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but look on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. If you're with someone, offer them a gesture of peace as we will do so here. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. <coughs> Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Bye. 
night of each tomorrow. Give us peace beyond our fear and hope beyond our sorrow. You who know our fears and sadness, grace us with your peace and gladness. Spirit of all comfort, fill our hearts. Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for the food by which we truly live through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May our good and gracious God bless us this day and always, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us continue to pray, proclaim the gospel with our life. Thanks, thanks be, be to, to God. God. And thanks to all of you once again for joining us today for our celebration of this Sunday Mass. A special thanks to Joe and to Mika, to Rob and to Jackie for helping us to pray today. Well, as I said at the beginning of Mass, happy Valentine's Day to everyone. And if you're out and about today uh, celebrating with one that you love, please do so safely. Um, Wednesday is Ash Wednesday, and we begin our long journey through Lent. Um, so if you haven't sent in your prayers or needs for Lent and the Easter season, you still have a long time to do so. So please do that. Uh, have a great week, everyone. And until we meet again next Sunday, may the passion of Jesus Christ be always in your heart.